So today I'm going to be putting two of the E.H. Taylor collection up against each other. The uh, single barrel and the uh, barrel proof. <clears throat> single barrel is a uh, bottled and bond. Most of the E.H. Taylor are bottled and bond. And what that means is it's uh, 100 proof and needs to have been in the barrel for at least four years. The barrel proof, which is what's been poured out here, that a uh, little bit different. That one is uh, not particularly a single barrel, but it comes out in batches. And this one is actually batch 12. So this is a 2023 release. And uh, it's um, bottled at barrel proof, which means is whatever the proof is of the mixture of all the barrels they put together is, is what it is. It is not watered down to get down to the 100 proof of the other ones. E.H. Taylor is made by Buffalo Trace uh, there in Frankfurt. And the main thing with E.H. Taylor is it is, has to come from Warehouse C, which is a old brick warehouse when you first come into Buffalo Trace past the, uh, the entryway there. It's one of the oldest ones and was built by Mr. Taylor himself back in the, back in the good old days. The standard offering is uh, called Small Batch. Then there's Single Barrel, Barrel Proof, and straight rye, which is a bit of an anomaly, uh, being a different mash bill, a rye mash bill. Uh, and then every year they come out with special releases. Uh, old fashioned, sour mash, warehouse sea, tornado survivor, cured oak, seasoned wood, four grain. Um, and those are very, very special and hard to get. And you can get them on the secondary for multiple thousands of dollars. Uh, Warehouse C Tornado Survivor has an interesting story. A tornado whipped through Kentucky and uh, tore the roof off Warehouse C. Uh, exposed barrels on the roof to many months of direct sunlight and they thought it was ruined, but turns out when they tried it, it was delicious. So, uh, and that one is a, a very hard bottle to find. As you can see here, the colors are pretty similar. The bottles look different, but they're, they're not really. Okay, so first on the nose with the single barrel. Mmm, that's really sweet. It's a lot of sweet caramels in that. That doesn't really smell anything like single, uh, small batch. So much sweeter. Mmm, that's really good. Um, I, I'm a big fan of E.H. Taylor uh, small batch, but that single barrel uh, <laughs> is quite a bit different and quite a bit better. With, with single barrels, uh, they're all going to be different. And the difference between a single barrel is obviously it comes from one barrel. And a small batch is where they batch a bunch of different barrels together to, to make something a little bit more consistent. Um, the barrel proof is basically coming out of the barrel without being watered down. So this is how it came out of the barrel, 131 proof. Let's put this on the nose. Oh, you can definitely smell a lot more ethanol in that. Dark fruits and a lot of dark fruits. Not as sweet. Wow. Yeah, you can definitely taste the, uh, the buffalo traceness of it. It's got a very distinct, almost stag um, flavor to it. And almost like George T. Stag rather than, you know, Stag Jr. That's, that's really good. Makes my mouth all tingle. Ooh. Mm. It's the first time I've actually had E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof, and uh, that is really, really good. Well, you know, um, each to their own, I think. Single barrel can be cheaper and easier to find, but if you can call either of these easy to find, um, on the secondary market at the moment, the single barrel... You might be able to get for 175 bucks, where the barrel proof might be almost 350, 375 bucks. So there's a substantial difference in cost uh, on the secondary. And if you get them at retail, well, yeah, who's getting them at retail? But there's probably 20, 30 dollars difference. Not that that makes any difference, but um, if you can find the barrel proof at retail, get it. And if you can find the single barrel, get it. Um, from what I understand, with the single barrels, the good thing about them is they're all a little bit different because they're single barrels, so um, that's something that's a bit neat. And uh, the barrel proofs, every year they come out 
with a different batch like say we're up to batch 12 right now uh, so every year they're a different batch with a different proof mm. I think for just like an easy not easy drinker I would say or something that I think the single barrel I, I do prefer the barrel proof but that single barrel is delicious as well so anyway that's the review of the two eh tailors uh big fan of all of them including small batch so if you see any of them and this lovely yellow label with mr eh taylor on the side sorry colonel eh taylor although he wasn't in the military colonel was just something that they uh like an honorary title they gave certain people in the south so there you go uh that's it and uh we'll see you next time Oh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And also down in the description will be a link to a Google page to enter my giveaway for a 7092 store pick, foolproof store pick. There's like six people, I think, right now in that. So you got a one in six chance if you're into one in seven. So uh, yeah, click the link and just give me your email and we'll run that when we hit 500. Now getting to 600 might have been a stretch, but that'll be next. But uh, we're about 20 people away from 500, so we'll get there and we'll we'll roll it and see who wins. Okay, see you, see you next time.